before this video starts, I would like to make a small announcement. I now have a Discord server. If you want to join the server, click the link below, underneath the video in the description below, and what you get in the Discord server is just like announcements and you know like you can talk in the general chat and you can talk with me in uh, voice channels if I'm ever on there or I'll, like I'll make an announcement saying hey want to be in here for a little bit if you want to chat uh, pop on in we'll discuss something you get extra content such as um, working on customs like updated customs and stuff like that so if you would like to join my discord server click the link below Hit join or accept the invitation, whatever it is, and have fun in the server. So, thank you for listening to this plug. Enjoy the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another diecast review. I uh, got two diecasts in the mail today. I uh, ordered them about three days ago, so you know they ended up getting uh, getting here fairly quickly. So, I got two number nines. I got uh, Chase Elliott's Holidaga win, and then I got um, Noah Gragson's uh, number nine switch for the Xfinity Series for 2019. So, I will uh, post the Noah Gragson one. Uh, what, is, what is it? Okay, today's Thursday. This will go out Friday. So, I'll post that Monday if I don't find like a wave or anything. So, if nothing else goes, I will post the Noah Gragson switch on Monday, and then hopefully. Some more will come along here soon. Because I do have some uh, money that I kind of want to spend and uh, purchase some die cast with. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a couple race wins. And, uh, you know, may get um, the whole w uh, William Byron, um, like, three-pack with the trucks, like, Rookie of the Year. Uh, the Rookie of the Year pack. I might get that. I actually want to because I don't have any of those die cast. And it's, you're actually saving money than what you normally get. They're, like, nine bucks each. Uh, like just separately and then some you can like I don't think you can get the truck by itself So I mean, yeah, that's kind of a good deal there. So, you know, I might uh, Look into that and probably pick it up and then do a review on it. Of course What kind of youtuber would I be if I or it will die cast reviewer if I didn't do that? You know, that's just that's wrong. You, you can't do that to people But yeah, we're gonna review uh, Chase Elliott's uh, number nine Talladega win and then of course, we will upload uh, the other one on Monday. So, I made a custom of this before uh, this even came out. I made it, like, actually fairly quickly um, when, like, he won the race. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that. People are going to like that, so let's do it. So, I will do a side-by-side com uh, -side comparison of that. Kind of see how I did. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, here she is right out of the box. Brand spanking new. Looks amazing. I like it. I like the confetti on it. Um, like I said, I recreated it, or I did not really recreate it. I did a custom of it. So I'm going to uh, compare that here in a little bit after we get the review over with. So you can see right here, a little Caesar is a little dude on the caveman looking guy on the front. I got some uh, confetti here. I got a little bit of uh, confetti and like some tape and then some uh, rubber buildup on the uh, bumper here because just you know just the racing and uh, ooh, Lionel didn't do such a great job on the uh, placements of the decals for the front of the Camaro but they got the headlights pretty good and that's normally what they mess up on they usually get these right but they won't get the headlights right they kind of be like a skewed a little bit like push down so Eh, you know, it's lino quality. Um, hate dealing with it, but you know what? That's just what we got nowadays. They got a little bit of damage right here. I don't remember how he got this. I, d I did watch the race, but I don't remember how we got into this or how he got this damage here. But they uh, kind of wrapped that up and then fixed that so the hood would stay down. And then, yeah, that was that. Number nine here on the side got some confetti, not really a lot, but then you got some of the. Uh, rubber build up here as well. Uh, Mountain Dew got a little bit of scrapes here and there. Got some more confetti along the pillar there, or like the, the railing. And then you got some contingencies. Contingencies, Jesus, I can't talk. Looks like we got a paint chip um, right there on the Alex Alto logo. Got Mac Tools uh, Freightliner, I believe. But you know stuff like that. Got Napa Mountain Dew, Little Caesars, uh, Hooters down there, a Valvoline, and then Kelly Blue Book. Uh, can't tell what that is, but I'm not really gonna... Actually, you know what, we'll try to tell what that is. I think... 
It's a little too small to tell. But if you know what that is uh, in the comments, let me know. Or let me know in the comments. So I kind of have an idea about what that is. So uh, on the back, we do have the updated uh, uh, tail lights, like I said before in um, some previous videos. Like with some 2019s, they had the old lights and then they kind of switched like midway before the playoffs. So they kind of switched to these tail lights, which I don't know why. But I don't really know if I like them or not. I don't really know like my opinion on that just yet. But the spoiler uh, doesn't look very, very good. It looks a little bent looking. I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to be. It might be. I'm going to give them a pass on that just because of its, uh, its being a race win. But I got auto parts right here on... That clip looks like we got a little bit of a decal error right there in the corner uh, where the uh, shark fin and the uh, splitter or spoiler kind of meets right there. So it's a 90 degree angle of this area here. There's a little mess up. So yeah, is what it is. Of course, we got the back and we got some damaged Camaro uh, mobile order pizza. Get a free two liter uh, number nine valve in there as well. And then ZL1 right there on the back. I do like the back. That does look pretty nice. You know, got some race damage there. Got a little bit over here, some scuff marks, not really much. A uh, little Caesars Mountain Dew. Looks like got a few crinkles right there in the decaling. Eh, you know, Lionel, we're used to that by now. Uh, Napa Auto Parts, or just Napa right there. You got Hooters again. Got some more confetti and some more uh, race win details. Not really that much, but it's there. But good thing it's on a white car, so we can uh, see... Uh, the stuff better see the you know markings got a black spot here and they got some like I don't really know how to explain that but it's like a bubble it's not really a bubble like an air pocket but it's like you know it's like a hard area of the paint so I don't know if this is like a glob of paint or if that's like what that is but that's there and that exists so yeah and of course I forgot uh, we got the winter sticker right here this was the first Unblur, please. There we go. It was the first uh, race he won in the uh, 2019 season, which, I mean, obviously came at Talladega. Then we all know what happened after that. Uh, he started winning a lot more. Oh, well, not a lot, but he's getting better. He's winning some more races. He won the Roval. You know, he won. Um, he didn't win a Dover or Kansas this year like he did last year, but he won Watkins Glen. So he got that again back to back. That is pretty cool. Hopefully we can get those in. But I think I've got all the Chase Elliott's from 2018 and 2019 win-wise. I think I got that in the Gold Series. So hopefully we can kind of keep that trend going. Uh, I know they're probably going to come out in the Authentics line. But, you know, whatever. Um, I can use it as custom and I'll have the card to kind of go with it anyway. The card. I feel like I said car there. But the card to go with it with, how, with all the information on the back. Unless it's one of these, which was from the Kansas race like they had in... Um, the authentic sign. But yeah, there's Lionel's version. So I uh, made a whole new, like, actual, like, packaging of mine. Because I got a second little... No, I didn't... Actually, I didn't get a second one. Because I had his Hooters one, which I kind of felt like looked like the same. So I wasn't really going to deal with it. I was like, you know what? I plan on running the normal scheme in the Season 2. Not realizing this was also like a... Or like a 2019 scheme... So, or you ran it in 2019. So I'm like, uh, you know, kind of forgot that I could run it again, and I just didn't do it. So I may, may have to um, purchase another Little Caesars. So, yeah, here's the custom. Uh, I got it from, of course, I said the Authentics line. Um, right here, there's the original paint scheme right there. And I kind of, just kind of turned it to my own deal. So we got the packaging here. Um, I don't think it looks too terrible. I mean, it could be a little bit better, of course. But, I mean, we will, like, open it up and kind of see how I did. So, this paint scheme was, or this custom was before I kind of, like, said, Hey, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change how I did this. Before, I just ended up clear-coating it uh, after I put the stuff on and whatever. I didn't take it apart completely like I didn't strip it or anything I didn't paint the interior so it's still the normal but yeah here's the uh, like I what I got on it uh, not much not terrible um, I did uh, forget I didn't forget but 
I didn't know how that would look, the, the Monster Energy banner in, underneath there. I should have put it anyway, but, you know, I just, I didn't do it. But, yeah, I mean, um, this is some type of, like, glitter stuff. I don't, I, I, I cannot find white. For whatever reason, can't find it. It's always clear or crystal. Don't know why, but I cannot find white. So, therefore, I could not add the white confetti there. I could have added a little bit more on the side, but I didn't really, you know, do that, of course, but... I could have added some more detail, like black out, uh, like this part here, like was on the die cast, of course. I could have made a few marks here and there about the a die cast, but in the pictures it didn't really show up, so I thought it was just like crystal clean, but I'm like, and I know it's a race win, there's going to be some scuffs on it, but I couldn't really tell, so I just kind of left it be instead of making incorrect marks. But yeah, that's kind of mine. I blacked out the window net, put the Elliott banner on there. I need to make those smaller, but I don't I don't really think I will because that's like a lot to do. But yeah, there's mine compared to um, Lionel's. So I know I could have done a lot better. And I'm going to try to get more detail into these customs because I got a whole lot of customs coming out uh, very, very soon. I got some custom raced wins, some custom uh, raced ones like Rex versions, uh, for example... Austin Dillon, where he flipped into the fence at uh, Daytona, that will be made, possibly, I'm thinking about it, but, yeah, I mean, that's kind of all I got for now, with diecast anyway, but, I'm looking for Alex Bowman's 124, or 164 to come out, and 124, I'm going to get that too, but, I want that to come out so I can kind of compare mine. Now, on the quarter panel, it's apparently damaged, it was like, torn out completely, or not completely, but like, it was like halfway torn out, and I didn't know that. I didn't see that in the picture, so I didn't mold it, and I'm like, oh, and it sucks, because, you know, I wanted to do some good detail, because I can, I can mold that. I can cut that, uh, it's like, kind of like rear, um, rear quarter panel out. I would have done that, but, uh, you know, just, you know, things happen, and you didn't see it, or I didn't see it, and it just, it didn't happen. But Lionel kind of changed their wheels as well. If you see that, like, it's darker, uh, it's not as bright, and it's a little bit fatter, and I don't like that, because it kind of, like, wraps around the whole thing of the wheel, instead of going on the inside. I don't really know how I feel about that, but right now, don't like it. So, maybe that may grow on me, that may not, I don't know, but as of right now, I'm just, I'm not liking it. But, anyway, that is going to be all for this diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching, and also, I will have a link to, uh, the video that I made uh, for making this in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you have not already. But I will see you in the next video. It's overrated. These expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down. For a minute.